Hi everybody, this is Alex from Camino and I want to tell you about what we've been doing with FPGAs lately. We tested several hand chips, two from Altera, Area 10 and Stratix 10 and one from Xilinx, it's Ultra Scale Plus. These are quite expensive chips, so expectations are quite high. Uh, we try to get maximum performance uh, they can provide. Lately, uh, we posted some information about our new product and got a lot of questions about how it works and if it's actually true. So we decided to create this video to explain how it works. I want to tell you about Bitware CVP13 board. It's a Xilinx Ultra Scale Plus VU13P FPGA based PCI Express board designed for high power applications. What it really means? You can load the FPGA up to 300 amperes and, and actually even more, get the maximum performance. We struggled a lot, but we could make it. In mining, it means more hash rate. It only sounds easy, and our team uh, spent approximately three months optimizing the bitstream to make it uh, work uh, at full load without errors and to get the actual hash rate we targeted. It. it was a real challenge to get as much cores inside the FPGA as possible and keep them working at high frequencies. With Comino Custom View Bitstream, uh, we could load the FPGA at uh, 320 amperes. That's approximately 400 watts. That's quite a lot. And it's crucial to keep FPGAs and power supplies temperature as low as possible. Otherwise, it won't be able to operate at high frequencies. Right now, it works at 800 megahertz. And uh, it's only possible using liquid cooling. And that is our proficiency. So what we got here, this is our rig with the Bitware CVP13 installed. It's an engineering sample brought by Bitware. Uh, we connected it to the closed uh, cooling loop to show how it works. So it's uh, like a big prototype. This is the board and uh, the tubing comes from water block, cold water, hot water, a fan blown on the back part. This is quick de decoupling system. It means you can uh, detach the fittings and the water is not going anywhere. It's easy to use. And it's connected to the radiator and reservoir with the pump. Uh, we uploaded our bitstream and it's working right now. Uh, it shows approximately 29 gigahashes per second and that's uh, close to 6 to 7 NVIDIA uh, 1080 Ti GPUs. In comparison to GPUs, the system is extremely power efficient. That's very important. And as I told earlier, you can get high hash rate uh, without liquid cooling. And uh, as far as it is our proficiency, uh, we're packing several FPGAs into our uh, Grando cases. In the next part of the video, uh, you will see how it looks like from the side of the pool and uh, from the side of the Linux. And if you want to see how our product looks like, not the engineering sample, please visit our website. First of all, I want to show you how we packed mining cores inside the FPGA crystal. Here on the screen you can see Vivado Design Suite, a software to design a bitstream on Xilinx FPGA. Different colors represent cores. There are 36 of them, packed as dense as possible to work on high frequency. Utilization of the internal elements you can see on the picture below. We continue with Linux to show the actual operation of the uploaded bitstream. On the first run, we set the frequency at 400 MHz and launch the miner. That makes the board draw 170 watts at 150 amperes. Hashes are being found and it's seen on the screen with a speed of 14.4 gigahashes per second. That is something close to the result you will get on the original XUP VV4 board without the modified power supply. Second run is a full load of the FPGA running at 800 MHz. We can see how the power drawer rockets close to 340 watts at 305 amperes and the hashes are being found much faster at a pace of 28.8 gigahashes per second. You don't want the core temperature to get higher than 40 degrees Celsius because the FPGA is very sensitive on high frequency and it starts to make errors in calculations, which is bad for mining and leads to pool hash rate drop. Because of the algorithms of pools, a better and more stable miner will get more credits than a faulty one. That is the reason why the actual hash rate of a single board will stay in the range between 28 and 31 gigahashes per second. So, that is how Camino Vio Bitstream works. I hope you liked it and thank you for watching.